My brothers and sisters, you are now watching the Gamer 2323, so just forget about the chores you're supposed to do. Put your feet up, get your Kool-Aid, fried chicken, popcorn, get whatever you may need. And I hope you enjoy the video. I keep on leaving y'all like a deadbeat dad. I'm sorry. But that PlayStation VR, though, I swear I don't know where all the time goes. Forget the fact that we are in October and this year is almost over already. Sucker, I just realized PlayStation VR comes out in two days. <laughs> Play PlayStation VR comes out in two days. I think today is October 11th. It comes out on October 13th. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> PlayStation VR has literally crept right around the corner and is almost here right now. So PlayStation VR... With all the games you got dropping and then, you know, the new consoles about to drop because PlayStation Pro comes out next month as well, you know, then PlayStation is like, God dang, <laughs> so just, just, just pause real quick, pause, but yeah, PlayStation VR comes out on October 13th, man, and um, so I wanted to talk about, are you guys going, going to be a day one buyer of PlayStation VR? Here's where I currently stand with PlayStation VR. When it comes out, I think it's going to be really successful. I think it's going to sell out quickly. When it first comes out, people are going to be buying it and stuff like that. You know, they're you know they're going to call their uh, friends over like, oh my god, dude, like this is so cool, like you gotta come over. <laughs> you know, people are definitely going you know to be hyped for PlayStation for for PlayStation VR when it first comes out. I do think it is going to be successful when it first comes out. It's going to be hard hard to find. It's going to be sold out stuff like that. Um. When it comes to the games with PlayStation VR, that is still really what I'm not too sure about. I'm not sold on it yet. I still have not seen any PlayStation. <laughs> I still have not seen any PlayStation VR game to where I'm like, son, I gotta get a PlayStation VR to play that game. I think the games are gonna be the in all be all for play. Not VR in general because you got like vr porn and all that. <laughs> that junk is gonna be huge <laughs> but like as far as playstation vr I, I, yeah the, i think the games are gonna be like of course what's most important like what games can you know we experience with playstation vr you know that justifies us going out and buying another 400 hundred dollar device you know so when it comes to the games um Again, I still haven't really seen any, any games that really make me want to go out and get a PlayStation VR day one. Um, I do, I, I think horror games are going to be really good for a PlayStation VR, but like other type of games, I just don't know. I, I, I just don't see how they're going to work with PlayStation VR. I think like first person, like horror type games were, are going to work like really good. But when they had showed, I think it was at this past E3, when they show like games like Final Fantasy, <laughs> when they show games like Final Fantasy 15 running on PlayStation VR, and, like you're shooting at stuff, I'm like, who the freak wants to play? <laughs> like, who really wants to play Final Fantasy like that? You know, so I don't think PlayStation VR, you know, is gonna be for every game. Like that's why when I'm seeing games like Batman Arkham VR or Final Fantasy or all these different types of games, I'm more so I'm like. How is that going to work with VR? <laughs> like, I just don't see a lot of these games, at least right now, working well with VR. But I do think horror games are going to be the exception. I don't I don't know if this is going to be, like, one of those instances to where, like, the Wii U, when that first... No, not the Wii U. The Wii, when, when it first came out. And, like, you know, it had the whole motion control thing going on. And that was, you know, the gimmick for that con you know for that con for that con for, for that console and uh, <laughs> and like the Wii was very successful i remember when the Wii came out i couldn't find i'm like yo is this jump that good <laughs> like you could not find the Wii for a while i'm like yo this jump must be freaking amazing but you know people wanted to you know play games a different way and that's what the Wii, you know offer you know to you with the motion controls but even with the success of the Wii. A lot of Wii owners over time had a Wii, but they weren't really playing it. <laughs> like, it was one of those 
consoles to where you would play it, you know, when like you had friends over, you know, or fam over and stuff like that. But when it was just you playing games and you really just wanted to like sit down and play games, you was like, I'm not playing the Wii. I'm going to play my Xbox or, you know, or PlayStation. So I don't know if PlayStation and VR is going to end up being like one of those things to where it's like the people that go out and buy that this junk day one. I've told y'all on multiple occasions, I'm not buying this junk day one. I'm going to fall back. Let them day one adopters catch that out <laughs> because once I think once all the hype die dies down for PlayStation VR and then the real opinions start to come out about it once people have it to use from the comfort of their home that's when the real opinions of PlayStation VR is gonna come out I think right now it's all hype for the most part again make no mistake about it when PlayStation VR comes out that jump is gonna be the hottest thing on the block it's gonna be sold out people are going to be playing it you know and trying to experience you know VR and playing games with it and stuff like that but over time like is this junk going and going to be found in like the back of your closet with like all these dust and cobwebs and so I, I just don't know like once vr finally comes out and all the hype dies down and then you have whatever games at the moment to play like how long is vr actually going to last again not i mean as far as like outside of games I mean, I mean, you know, again, porn, <laughs> that VR porn, can you imagine watching, um, Tiana Trump VR, <laughs> a true next generation experience, or freaking Mia Malco, anyways, um, but yeah, I mean, for the games, that's really what I'm asking, like, how long, you know, it, like, how is this going to turn out? I, I still need to see, like, some better games to make me be like, I'm buying a VR play, <laughs> and I still haven't seen that game yet. But, yeah, uh, PlayStation VR is definitely right around the corner. Because when I go to the PlayStation store, these suckers got a whole section just dedicated to VR. <laughs> so I'm just like, this junk is almost here, dude. Comes out in two days, October 13th, man. So... That's going to be another $400 just in case you guys plan on getting it day one. But again, for me, I don't think I'm buying it day one. Um, I just don't feel like I need to buy it day one because, again, I haven't, haven't really seen any games as of yet that really that I really got to experience with VR. Again, I, I do think it's going to be really successful when it, when it first comes out. It's going to be sold out. It's going to be doing all good and stuff like that but over time and then once all the hype dies down i think that's when we're gonna find out what's really what with playstation vr and if you really need to go out and spend another four hundred dollars <laughs> are you guys going to get a uh, playstation vr day one let me know down in the comments below i'm not gonna get day one i'm gonna let these suckers go out catch that up <laughs> then we'll fall back you know, evaluate the situation, then make my move in there. You feel me? So, uh, yeah, so are you guys getting PlayStation uh, VR day one? Let me know down in the comments below. PlayStation VR, are you going to be truly the next thing in gaming? Or will you be simply another gimmick that comes and goes? Let's find out.